The overall goal of this technique is to generate three-dimensional engineered heart tissue that can be used as an in vitro contraction analysis platform for drug screening and disease modeling. This method can help answer key questions in the cardiac field about disease modeling, safety pharmacology, and the effects of gene variants or drugs on contractile force. The main advantage of this technique is that contractile force can be measured in engineered heart tissues from different species under sterile conditions for extended periods of time. Scientists new to this method could struggle with lack of cell or fibrinogen quality or lack of a protein in the medium. It is important to optimize cell preparation and avoid freeze thaw cycles of the fibrinogen. Demonstrating this procedure will be Annika Benzin and Amber Salim. Before beginning the procedure, add 1.6 milliliters of warm 2% agarose into the first 8 wells of a 24-well plate and immediately place polytetrafluoroethylene spacers into the agarose. After about 10 minutes at room temperature, the agarose will become opaque, signifying its solidification. Remove the spacers and place PDMS racks into the castings so that pairs of rack posts reach into each agarose mold. When all of the racks have been placed, resuspend the cardiomyocytes in medium at a minimum concentration of 1.5 times 10 to the 7 cells per milliliter and triturate freshly prepared reconstitution mix with fibrinogen 10 to 15 times with a serological pipette until the fibrinogen clot is dissolved. <laughs> 